Hello everyone, this is Brian with Mittler Brothers Machine and Tool, and today we're gonna to take a look at our aircraft punch and flares. Adding punch and flares to a panel is a great way to add strength to the panel while lightening it up and giving it a great look. The aluminum alloys such as 2024 used in aircraft construction can be prone to cracking if they're bent or stretched too far. The 35 degree flare in our aircraft punch and flares was specifically designed to add strength to the panel without cracking the aluminum. They will punch and flare the hole in one step and add a 35 degree flare that is an eighth inch deep in your panel. Once the material is formed, the hole size will be a sixteenth bigger than the punch size. For instance, if you started with a two inch punch and flare, when you do the punch and flare, your hole size will actually be two and a sixteenth when it's finished. We offer these punch and flares in 16 different sizes from one inch all the way up to six inch. They can be purchased individually if you only need certain sizes, or you can buy them in sets if you prefer to have a range of options. We offer a six piece, seven piece, nine piece, or 13 piece set to give you a range of options to fit your application. The flare ring, punch, and die are made from heat treated steel. It's all held together by a grade eight bolt and a hardened washer. Very easy to assemble. Slide it together, tighten the bolt, you're ready to use. They have a maximum capacity of 14 gauge aluminum, 16 gauge mild steel, and 19 gauge stainless steel. The one inch up to three and three quarter inch sizes have a half inch bolt, which requires a three quarter socket or ratchet. And the four, five, and six inch sizes have a one inch bolt, which requires an inch and a half wrench or socket. There are a couple different ways to use punch and flares depending on your project. We're gonna do a two and a quarter right now to show you how easy it is. So to get started, we're gonna move our, move our punch and flare out of the way. We're gonna get our material, our layout tool for where we want our punch and flare, safety glasses, gloves, and then of course we'll have our drill and our ratchet, which we'll use here in a minute. So in this case, we're gonna do a two and a quarter punch and, punch and flare. So I'm gonna space that over. Uh, let's just make it three inches to make it easy. Go three inches here. Three inches here. So this will be our center mark. Move our stuff out of the way. Put our gloves on. Protect our hands from the metal. Our safety glasses on. And then we'll get our drill. Here I'm using a step drill, which I prefer in the thin sheet metal. Uh, you can use a standard drill bit as well, but in my experience, when you use a standard drill bit, drilling through, uh, especially thin material, aluminum, uh, especially, it wants to grab and twist and it kind of makes for an ugly hole and can kind of tweak your metal. Um, in this case, using a step bit, even though this is a well-worn step bit, still works great. Um, I made a mark here. This is just above the step that I want to drill. This step here is half inch diameter, which is the clearance we need for our bolt. So I'm going to pull this off to the side so we don't drill in the table. I'm going to use our center mark there. I'm going to drill our hole. The material, step it all the way so we just see that black line. We'll move that out of the way. Clean our material off a little bit so we have our half inch hole there. Even though it has the burr on the bottom side, that's not going to cause any issues with our punch and flare. We'll bring our punch and flare over here. We're going to unscrew the bolt. What we recommend is when you when you open them up, you have the this is your die here the punch, and then we call this the flare ring. What we recommend is a little bit of high pressure lube, uh, which we use here, we sell this. You can also use grease, um, any sort of a you know grease type lubricant works well. Um, you wanna put a little bit on both sides of our washer. Just a little bit here, a little bit on the back side for our bolts. And then we're going to put a little bit on, of our, on our threads here. So that helps tremendously with the friction when we tighten this thing up. So we'll put it all back together. You'll insert this in your panel. Uh, these two pieces will go through one side. The threaded die part will go through the opposite side. You want to pay attention to which way the flare is going, because depending on how, what kind of panel you've made, if you have bent flanges, things like that, you want to make sure you're flaring it the right direction. In this case, this is just a scrap panel we have, doesn't matter. So we'll stick that through there. We will thread this piece on. Down until it's tight. And then you can use either a socket and ratchet or a regular wrench. 
a ratchet and socket, um, it's obviously faster than a normal wrench. In this case, we're using 040 aluminum, or 40 thousandths aluminum. Cut straight through, you can hear it pop there the first, pop the second time, and then we're going down. And you can see we're doing our flare now as we keep going. Tighten that all the way down till it stops. And then we'll back it right off. We can hold the bolt. Spin the die part off. Our slug comes out. And then we have our punch and flared hole. Again, important to make sure you're punching the correct direction through your material, depending on what type of part you're making, bent flanges, etc. So you can see it's very easy to do. Nice looking results, burr free edge. Anybody can do it. Um, if you want to do just a punched hole and not have the flare, you can do that with this tool as well. By removing what we call the flare ring, which is this piece, we can take that off insert our bolt back through the punch and use this as just a punch. So in this case, this is a two and a quarter. This would just punch a two and a quarter inch hole without the flare. For those that don't want to have to drill a hole or doing production work or just want a faster, easier way to punch and flare holes, we offer several different bench presses that the one inch through three and three quarter inch sizes can be mounted in. This is our 2200M three ton manual bench press. We have a two and a quarter inch aircraft punch and flare mounted in it. You can see it has a centering pin for lining up the punch and flare on your panel. You just make a mark on your panel, just like we did before. This is a three inch by three inch mark here, center mark. Bring it up to the machine. Bring it around, line up your center mark with your mark on your panel or your centering pin. Pull it around. It's just that easy. You can see it does a great job. Same thing, no burr, real nice hole. Uh, this panel here has plastic on it, so we'll take that off. You'll see it doesn't mar the paint. Makes a nice finished hole. Makes quick work of it, does a nice job. Utilizing one of our presses gives you the ability to do several holes at the same time it takes to do one by hand. Has a built-in slug ejector. You take the slugs right out and move on to your next hole. Now you've seen how our punch and flares work in the range of sizes we have available. All Mittler Brothers products are proudly made in the USA right here in our manufacturing facility in Wright City, Missouri. You can view these products as well as all of our other fabrication tools and accessories at MittlerBros.com or you're welcome to give our sales staff a call at 800-467-2464 and we'd be happy to talk to you. We look forward to earning your business.